guys, what's going on? I'm starting a new series today. It's basically how to just use Simplify 3D from everything uh, super simple to really, really advanced. So we're going to start off this episode with very simple stuff. So once you launch Simplify 3D, sign in, it's going to ask you what printer. I assume you could choose your printer. If not, you can do custom and choose it later on. I might cover that in a later date, but for right now, let's open up Simplify 3D. And I'm going to explain to you how to customize it slightly. So if you go over to Tools and then to Options, you get this window. Now, this is really complicated, but for right now, we're going to go to Machine, and then we're going to click Add, then we're going to go to Prusa, whatever your STL is. And then if you press OK, this will now be your bed. So I have a Prusa i3 Mark II, and this is the model. This is pretty much exactly what the bed looks like. So it's much nicer than having just a you know square. But uh, yeah, this will. I like this one because it represents the bed completely, and there's also markings. So on the Prusa i3 Mark II bed, there's 50, 100. There's these markings, and the bed is also bigger than the actual print area. And I always that I, I always get that confused because the PEI sheet doesn't start until a little bit in and a little bit down. So this is this is very helpful. So that's pretty much it. Um, from then on, you can just take a model and drop her in. Oh, this is a G code. That won't work. Uh, this is a model. Drop a model in, and there you go. From then on, you can go to the slicing options, and I'll cover that in a later video.